Happy Monday. It's so great to see you guys again, and it's so great to be practicing with you. Monday is actually my favorite day of the week, so I am going to start doing these live streams on Monday. I think it's sometimes the toughest day, but also most rewarding. You can kind of get your goals and your intentions in line for the rest of the week. And then hump day is also another good day when you're struggling to climb over that little hump. But today our peak pose is going to be compass pose. And I just wanted to chat with you guys for a few minutes about compass pose. Um, you have to be really open in the hips. A strap is nice to help you through the process. Um, and this is an all levels flow. So wherever you are today, honor your body, honor your breath. This is your practice, your time that you've carved out for yourself. So wherever you are today, just know that that's okay and that is enough. So we're gonna go ahead and get started in Supta Baddha Konasana an early hip opener. And Sukta Baddha Konasana, also known as reclined butterfly pose, we come all the way down onto the earth as our shoulder blades press. Bring both soles of the feet together to kiss and let the knees jet out in opposite directions. Not worrying about the breath here. Seeing if you can just settle in and let your day go. Maybe you bring the palms onto the earth. Maybe you face them towards the ceiling to um, allow any new energy to arrive. Can you shut the eyes down here and settle in? Compass pose reminds me that not all who wander are lost. So if you're feeling unsure or apprehensive, even fearful, you are not alone. And even though sometimes it's tough to remember, we are exactly where we are supposed to be. Letting your day go, settling into your intention, whether that's something or someone that inspires you. Slowly starting to bring awareness to your breath. We inhale, filling the belly, filling the lungs, letting the collarbone expand, holding the breath at the top of the throat. And then exhaling for four, three, two, one, inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs, full breath here, holding the breath at the top of the throat, and then exhaling for five, four, three, two, one, finding that same inhale, this time sealing the lips and letting the heat escape through both nostrils. I don't know if you guys can hear, but my neighbors decided it was a great time to lay some concrete down. So if you hear some beeping sounds, no worries. Try to stay connected to your breath. Inhale, filling the belly, filling the lungs, starting to dial into that ujjayi pranayama. Creating that slight constriction in the back of your throat as if you're fogging up a glass or a mirror. Starting to dial into this breath, can you send your breath towards both hips? Being kind to your hips early on, take one more full inhale here. Exhale, release. Starting to blink the eyes open, maybe a slight gaze towards the nose. Inhale, bringing the palms behind the neck. We're gonna run through a few Sukta Baddha Konasana crunches. So here we inhale, lifting the chest, lifting the shoulder blades off the earth. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, release. Running through about 10 of these. Inhale, rising the core. Exhale, release. Can you lift from the core versus lifting from the neck? We're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, letting the shoulder blades melt away from the earth, bringing the palms on the outside of the thighs. And then slowly closing your knees together like a book, being kind to those hips. Sending the knees in towards the chest, giving yourself a squeeze, and then releasing the thighs. We're creating a little L shape here. Can you push your thighs away from you, sending your low back towards the earth? Inhale, lifting the shoulders off the earth, reaching past those thighs. Maybe you squeeze them together. We're holding here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Can you lift the shoulder blades a little bit higher off the earth for 5, 4, 
three, two, one, knees into the chest, ha, ah, let that breath go, start to create those low back circles here. First moving clockwise, and then switching the direction to counterclockwise. Inhale, bringing the heels to create that L shape again, dorsi flexing in those fins. Maybe you push the thighs away from you to send the low back into the earth. Option to leave the shoulders off the earth or option to lift, reaching past those thighs. We're pulsing this time for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Can you invite those shakes into your practice? That means you're getting stronger. Lifting the shoulder blades off the earth for four, three, two, one, knees into the chest, ha, let that breath go, start to rock and roll, moving side to side. Up and down the spine, parallel, grabbing behind the thighs, and then starting to create little rock and rolls. Maybe finding some hang time on that tailbone. And then when you're ready, crossing at the ankles, meeting in a neutral tabletop at the top of your mat. In this neutral tabletop, wrists are directly underneath the shoulder blades, knees are underneath the hips. We're untucking the toes, dropping the belly low, sending the gaze high, bolstering your heart towards the stars, cow pose. Exhale, ground down into the palms, round the spine, gazes to the navel, slightly protract in the shoulder blades. Inhale, drop the belly low, send the tailbone, tail the tailbone high, open up the chest. And then exhale, ground down into those palms, round the spine, gazes to the navel. Inhale, coming back to that neutral tabletop. Paying attention to those architectural lines, wrists directly underneath the shoulder blades, knees are underneath the hips. Creating a strong foundation here, we're tucking the toes and rising two and a half inches off the earth for lifted tabletop. In this lifted tabletop, feel your strength. Push the earth away from you with those palms, sending the gaze in between the palms. We're slightly protracting in the shoulder blades, taking one full expansive breath here. If this is enough for you, you can always stay. If you're looking for a little bit more, come with me running through a few cat cows with lifted knees, dropping the belly low, sending the gaze high, opening the chest. And then exhale, grounding down into the palms, rounding the spine, gazes to the navel, making sure those knees are two and a half inches off the earth. One more cat cow, drop the belly low, open up the chest. And then exhale, ground down into the palms, round the spine, gazes to the navel. If those knees are lifted, we're here for five, four, three, two, one. Lifting the hips and heels high to the sky, finding that inverted V shape. Out of the Mukha Svanasana or downward facing dog. Maybe you generously bend both knees here. Palms are a little bit wider than shoulder width distance. Feet are hips width distance apart. We're grounding down into the base knuckle of the index finger and the thumb, sending the chest towards the thighs, sending the gaze in between the ankles. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, gazes in between the palms. We walk, step, jump, pop, or float to the top of our mat. Inhale, halfway lift out of the Uttanasana, creating a number seven with your spine. Plugging the shoulder blades into the back wall and slightly tucking the chin here. We have a flat back, maybe you take a slight bend in the knees. As if your favorite plate of food is on there, trying not to spill. Take one inhale here. Exhale, release down, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach all the way up, reaching with intention, gazes in between the palms. Maybe you take a slight back bend. Exhale, forward fold, swan diving, leading with the chest, hinging at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift out of the Uttanasana. Exhale, plant the palms, moving into your high plank. Taking a moment in your high plank. I want you to feel your strength here as if we did in that lifted tabletop. So push the earth away from you. Find that slight protraction in your shoulder blades. Gaze is in between the palms here. Take one full inhale here. Exhale, sending the shoulders to pass the wrists, tucking the elbows in towards the ribs as you lower down to low plank. Take one inhale in this low plank. Exhale, push the earth away from you. Find that high plank. One more time, tuck the elbows in towards the ribs, lower down. Exhale, push the earth away from you, high plank. Last one, yogis, tuck those elbows in towards the ribs. This time we're coming all the way down onto our bellies. Untucking the toes, finding Bhujangasana or low cobra. 
In this Bhujangasana, the tops or shoelace portion of our feet are grounding down into our mats, sending the elbows to magnetize towards one another. Maybe you take one inhale here. Maybe you lift the palms off the earth to test your strength, sending the breath towards that scapula or mid-shoulder. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, maybe you lift a little bit higher, tucking the chin in towards the chest. Planting the palms onto the earth, tucking the toes, and then binding that downward facing dog. One inhale in this downward facing dog. Maybe you lift the heels. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, release those heels down, starting to find fluidity in your sun eights. Gaze is in between the palms. We walk, step, jump, hop, or float to the top of our mat. Trying to move one breath per movement. Inhale, halfway lift of the Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach all the way up, reaching with intention. Maybe you take a slight back bend here. And then exhale, swan dive, leading with the chest, hinging at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift out of the Uttanasana. Exhale, plant the palms, you flow, you grow. High to low plank, make sure you tuck those elbows in towards the ribs. Chaturanga, check in as you lower down. Upward facing dog, arcing the chest through this time for upward facing dog. In this upward facing dog, can you push the earth away from you, sending the shoulders away from the ears? Maybe you slightly tuck the chin in, take one full inhale. Exhale, rolling over the toes, downward facing dog. Taking one breath to come back to this downward facing dog. Maybe readjusting here, maybe generously bending in both knees. Our last sun aid to really get warmed up in the body gazes in between the palms. We walk, step, jump, hop, or float to the top of our mat. Inhale, halfway left out of the Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bending with the knees, root to rise, reach all the way up. Active listening, we're grabbing for the left wrist and then moving over towards the right side, grounding down into the right heel. Can you spiral your chest towards your ceiling? Take one big inhale here. Exhale, maybe you sink a little bit deeper. Inhale through center. Exhale, switching the grips, grabbing the right wrist, moving over towards the left, spiraling the chest towards the ceiling. Take one full inhale here. Finding expansion through this right lung, maybe you sink a little bit deeper. Inhale through center. Exhale, swan dive, leading with the chest, hinging at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, finish your vinyasa, you flow, you grow. High to low plank, tuck those elbows in towards the ribs as you lower down. Upward facing dog, arc the chest through, maybe you send your gaze high for an extra back bend. Exhale, rolling over the toes, downward facing dog. In this downward facing dog, first bringing both feet together to touch at the back of the mat. And then inhale, right leg lifts high to the sky, three-legged dog. Option to point the toe here, or option to find that internal rotation, squaring off the hips, sending the right toes towards the earth. Bending in this right knee, scorpion tail, right heel towards left glute. If your right armpit shoots up towards the ceiling, can you take this opportunity to square it off towards your mat? Starting to generously bend, moving in big circles here with that right knee. First clockwise, and then if it feels good, switching the direction to counterclockwise. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, right knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in. Maybe you give that knee a kiss. Three-legged dog. Right knee to right elbow, active listening. We're sliding that knee down towards the wrist. And then inhaling, three-legged dog. Right knee to left elbow, cross body hold. Inhale, three-legged dog. Right knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in, really protract in the shoulder blades here. We're sending the right foot to plant in between the palms, dropping this right or left knee down towards the earth, untucking the toes, and then finding Anjane Asana, or low runner's lunge. Maybe you untuck the toes in the back here, take one full inhale here. Exhale, maybe you sink a little bit deeper. <sighs> Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, painting the palms down towards the earth to frame the foot and then sending that right hip back, finding half Hanuman or half split. 
in this half haunted mall. If half splits in your practice and you'd like to explore, you're more than welcome. Taking your time to shimmy through this half split if you'd like. Wherever you are, plant the palms into the earth, take one halfway lift, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, maybe you sink a little bit deeper. Inhale, starting to bend in this right foot. We're tucking the left toes, grounding the left palm beside the right foot. And then coming into that easy twist, gaze is to the right fingertips. In this easy twist, take one full inhale here. Exhale, goal posting in the arms, opening in the chest for a slight heart opening. And then coming back to neutral. Grounding down into this right foot, we're lifting up, using the core, finding that twisted lunge. In this twisted lunge, we're creating a right angle with this right knee. Maybe you open up your wings a little bit wider. Take one full inhale here. You got this, yogis, release and sink deep. One more inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, right palm comes behind you. Left palm paints a rainbow towards the ceiling. And then cartwheeling the palms to frame this right foot. We're opening up here, bringing the right palm towards the inner right thigh, finding a modified lizard lunge. So in this modified lizard lunge, our gaze is behind the right shoulder blade here. With this inhale, can you push the right palm a little bit further away from you? Take one more breath. Exhale, bringing the right palm to frame the right foot, sending the right foot all the way back for a three-legged dog. Maybe you keep this three-legged dog lifted for that one-legged chaturanga. As you tuck those elbows in towards the ribs and lower down, upward-facing dog arcing the chest through. Exhale, child's pose. Big toes come together to touch, sending the chest down towards the earth. Taking this opportunity to towel off. Maybe grabbing some water here. Maybe coming back to that intention. It's funny that through life, when I was on the path that I was supposed to be on, studying for law school, taking the LSAT, I never felt more lost. I never felt more out of place. And that's when I knew that not all who wander are lost that we are exactly where we're supposed to be. And if we enjoy the journey, enjoy the ride, things will start to fall into place. Trusting that intuition, inhale, walking the palms close to the body, and then finding that inverted V-shape, downward facing dog. In this inverted V-shape, first bringing both feet together to touch at the back of your mat. And then inhale, left leg comes high to the sky, three-legged dog. Option to point the toes here, option to find that slight internal rotation, sending the left toes towards the earth, squaring off the hips, bending at the knee, scorpion tailing left heel towards right glute. If that left armpit shoots up towards the ceiling, can you take this opportunity to square it off towards your mat? Starting to create those big circles here. First moving clockwise. And if it feels good, switching the direction to counterclockwise. Really lubricating in this left hip here. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, right knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in. Maybe you give that knee a kiss. Three-legged dog. Left knee to left elbow, make a connection, and then slide that left knee down towards the wrist. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left knee towards right elbow, cross body hold. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in, really protract in the shoulder blades here to plant the left foot in between the palms. Grounding this right knee down towards the earth, untucking the toes, and then rising up for Anjane Asana, low runner's lunge. In this Anjane Asana, maybe you slide the heel to come underneath the knee. Maybe you send that hip a little bit closer towards the earth. Wherever you are, take one big inhale here. Exhale, planting the palms towards the earth, finding that half on one, sending the left hip back towards the heels. And here in this half split, maybe you move and shimmy yourself into half split if that's in your practice. Wherever you are, take one inhale here, planting the palms into the earth, taking a halfway lift to lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, melt down. 
Inhale, start to walk the palms close to the feet. Tucking this right toe, keeping the right palm grounded, and then lifting this left palm high, finding an easy twist. In this easy twist, gaze to the left fingertips. Take one full expansive breath in. Exhale, goal posting in the arms, sending the chest towards the ceiling, and then releasing back to neutral. Slow and controlled, rounding down into this left foot. We're rising up, finding that twisted lunge, creating a right angle with that left knee, opening up the wings a little bit wider. We're here for one full breath. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Maybe you open up a little bit wider. Exhale, release. <sighs> Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Left palm comes behind you, right palm paints a rainbow. And then bringing the right palm down towards the earth, bringing the left palm to frame the foot, sweeping this left foot all the way back, maybe keeping it lifted for a one-legged chaturanga. Option to finish your vinyasa in any which way, maybe you tuck the elbows in, lower down with that lifted leg. Upward facing dog, pull the chest through. Exhale, big toes come together to touch, finding that child's pose. <sighs> Taking a moment to reset. Taking a moment to come back to that intention. Acknowledging that fear, acknowledging that feeling of apprehension. that anxious feeling you get when things are starting to change around us. Can we use our intention as our ultimate compass? Take one full inhale here. Exhale, release. Inhale, walking the palms close to the body, finding that inverted V-shape. Downward facing dog, first bringing both heels together to touch at the back of your mat. And then inhaling, right foot lifts high to the sky, three legs up. Option again to point the toe or option to find squareness in the hips, sending the right toes towards the earth. Bending into this right knee, finding that scorpion tail. Starting to create those big circles here, first moving clockwise. And then switching the direction to counterclockwise. Inhale, three-legged dog coming back to that scorpion tail. If you're ready for that flip dog, maybe you plant the left palm into the earth and flip your dog over, reaching for something you desire with the right palm. Maybe coming into full wheel, if that's in your practice, pushing the earth away from you with this left palm, take one breath here. Exhale, right palm comes down towards the earth. Right foot lifts, three, let it go. Right knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in. Maybe you give that knee a kiss. Three, let it go. Right knee to right elbow, active listening. We're sliding that right knee down towards the wrist and then sliding it all the way back up towards the armpit. And then three-legged dog. Right knee to left elbow, cross body hold. Sliding that right foot down towards the earth, finding that wild thing. In this wild thing, our falling triangle, we're pushing the earth away from us with this right palm. Can you lift the chest a little bit higher? Take one full inhale here. And then exhale, planting this left palm towards the earth. If you'd like to take zero to five Chaturanga crossbody push-ups, you're more than welcome. Tucking those elbows in towards the ribs and lowering down. Maybe you take zero push-ups today. Maybe you take one or two and that's totally great. Maybe you meet me in a three-legged dog with your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, right knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in, plant the right foot in between the palms. We're setting up for a proper crescent warrior, grounding down into this right foot and then rising up for crescent warrior or Anjaneyasana. In this Anjaneyasana, creating that right angle with this right knee. Can you squeeze those inner thighs together, activating those glutes, take one full breath. Exhale, let the shoulder blades melt away from the ears. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, release. One more breath here, yogis. Control the breath, control the mind. You got this. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, pivoting this left foot and then committing to the bend in this right knee, finding warrior two or Virabhadrasana two. In this warrior two, our hips are square towards the left side. 
Our drishti or gaze is in between the right fingertips, letting the shoulders melt away from the ears. Take one full inhale here. Exhale, release. Inhale, pointing the palms towards the earth, coming in for one bicep kiss. Palms come together to kiss, biceps towards the ears. And then exhale, release. I like maybe one more. Open up the palms, send the palms together to kiss, biceps and ears. Exhale, release. I know that right quad is talking to you, yogis. We're here for one more breath. Inhale, reach for something you desire. Exhale, peace, forward. And then bringing the right forearm to come onto this left thigh, or the right thigh, excuse me. We're coming into Parsifal Konasana Side Angle Pose. A few options in the side angle pose. Maybe you send the chest towards the ceiling here. Maybe you plant the palm onto the earth. Maybe you come in for that bird of paradise fine. Wherever you are, take one breath here. And then exhale, releasing the palm to the earth. We're straightening in both legs, coming in for reverse trigonasana, or excuse me, coming in for that warrior two. Reverse warrior. Straightening the legs, reaching for something you desire, and then transitioning into trikonasana triangle pose. So maybe in this trikonasana, you have to shorten your stance a bit, and that's totally okay. Gaze is to the left fingertips here, slightly tucking the tailbone in as if your body's in two panes of glass. Take one full inhale. Exhale, straightening in both legs, reaching behind you, reverse triangle pose. Exhale, cartwheeling the palms to frame this right foot. Active listening. From here, we're going to move into kind of a fun little lizard pose. But in this lizard pose, instead of um, falling down onto the forearms, I want you to stay onto the palms. So just like that lifted tabletop, just at that high plank, can you push the earth away from you, slightly protracting in the shoulder blades? Can you maybe send that heel back? So we're gonna play and flow into lizard and a wide pyramid. So from this lizard, we're gonna straighten in both legs, point the right toes and find this modified pyramid pose. It could be a really long pyramid or maybe it's a little bit shorter. Wherever you are, take one full breath and then exhale, bend in this right knee, finding that lizard again. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, straightening in both legs, lifting the right toes, finding that long pyramid pose. And then exhale, releasing. Last one here, getting really juicy in this right hip. Inhale, lifting, straightening in both legs, sending the right toes high. And then exhale, bending back into the right foot, bringing the right palm to frame the right foot, and then sweeping the right leg all the way back. Maybe keeping it lifted for that one-legged chaturanga as you bring the wrists underneath the shoulders and then bring the shoulders past the wrists, tuck the elbows in towards the ribs, lower down. Upward facing dog, pull the chest through. Exhale, child's pose, bringing big toes together to touch. Sending the chest down towards the earth, finding your velocity child's pose. Taking this opportunity to come back to that breath. Taking this opportunity to come back to that intention. Can we trust our intuition here? Maybe you give that third eye center a nice massage by moving it back and forth on your mat. When you're ready, on the next inhale, walking the palms close to the body and then finding that downward facing dog. In this inverted V-shape, first bringing both feet together to touch. And then left leg lifts high to the sky, three-legged dog. Scorpion tailing, left heel towards right glute. If that left armpit shoots up towards the ceiling, can you square it off towards your mat? Grounding evenly into both palms, we start to create those big circles here. Getting juicy in the synovial fluid of this left hip, maybe you switch the direction to counterclockwise. Inhale, three like a dog. We're scorpion tailing left heel towards right glute. Grounding down into this right palm. Maybe if flip dog is in your practice, flipping that dog over and reaching for something you desire with this left palm. If full wheel is here, you're more than welcome to play. If you're with me, slow and controlled, grounding down into this right palm, sending the left foot high to the sky, three like a dog. 
Left knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in. Three leg dog. Left knee to left elbow, active listening. We're sliding that knee down towards the wrist. And then sliding it back up towards the armpit just for a moment. Three legged dog. Left knee to right elbow, cross body hold. Sliding that left foot down towards the earth and rising up for that fallen triangle or wild thing. In this wild thing, can you push the earth away from you with this left palm? Can you send the chest a little bit higher? Take one full breath here. Exhale, right palm comes down towards the earth. You know what time it is, zero to five, Chaturanga push-ups, tuck those elbows in towards the ribs and lower down. If you'd like to test your strength here, if you take one or none, no worries. Meet me back in a three-legged dog with that left foot lifted high to the sky. Left knee towards the nose, round the spine, protract in the shoulder blades, send the left foot in between the palms. Setting up for a strong foundation of crescent warrior, Creating that right angle with the left knee, finding that crescent warrior or Anjane Asana. In this crescent warrior, can you squeeze those inner thighs together? Back heel is stacked above the back toes. Engage the glutes, gaze in between the palms. Letting the shoulders melt down from the spine. Control the breath, control the mind. You got this. We're here for two inhales. Fill the belly. Exhale, release. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, release. Last breath, you inhale, fill up. Exhale, pivoting this back foot and then deepening into this left knee, finding warrior two. In this warrior two, creating that right angle with this left knee. Palms come out in front of us, letting the shoulder blades melt away from the ears. Drishti or gaze is in between the left fingertips. Take one full inhale here. Exhale, bringing the palms to face the ceiling and then sending the biceps to kiss the ears. Palms come together. Release down. One more for good measure. Open up the palms and the bicep towards the ears. Really squeeze it in. Exhale, release. Reaching for something you desire and then finding that peaceful warrior, letting the right palm melt down towards the right leg. Keeping the bend into this left knee, finding the left forearm to reach the left thigh. Keeping the left knee to point towards the top left corner of your mat. Inhale, spiraling the chest towards the ceiling. Maybe you drop the palm towards the earth. Maybe you start to find that bird of paradise find. Maybe you move into bird of paradise. Wherever you are here, can you commit to this bend? Take one full inhale here. And then exhale, release. Inhale, coming back to warrior two for just a moment. If you're in bird of paradise, take your time. We're straightening in both legs, giving that left quad a break. Maybe walking the feet in towards each other for a little bit, reaching for something you desire with this left palm, hinging at the hips, finding that trikonasana triangle pose. So in this trikonasana triangle pose, slightly tuck that tailbone in. Keep the gaze towards the right fingertips as if you're trying not to dump all the weight into this left palm. Maybe you push against the thigh to lift that chest a little bit higher. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, straightening in both legs, finding that reverse trikonasana reaching behind you. And then exhale, cartwheeling the palms to frame this left foot. From here, we're moving into that lizard pyramid thing. So maybe you move this left foot towards the left side of the mat, planting both palms into the earth, and then finding that lizard lunge. So instead of coming down onto your forearms for that lizard lunge, if you wanted to move a little bit further, we're gonna rock back and forth between lizard and an extended pyramid pose. So here we take one full inhale here. Exhale, straightening in both legs, sending the left toes towards the sky, straightening. So maybe you shorten that stance a bit and try again. Bending into this left knee, finding that lizard lunge, sending the chest high towards the sky just for a moment. And then releasing, lifting the left toes, straightening in both legs, finding that long pyramid pose, pushing the earth away from you. One last time for good measure, bend into this left knee, open up the chest. 
And then straightening in both legs, sending the left toes towards the sky, long pyramid pose. Slow and controlled, planting the left palm down, sweeping the left leg high to the sky for that one-legged downward facing dog. Maybe you keep that lifted for a vinyasa, tucking those elbows in towards the ribs, lowering down. Upward facing dog, pull the chest through. Maybe you take an extra back bend here, sending the gaze high to the ceiling. And then exhale, big toes come together to touch, finding that child's pose. Taking a moment in this child's pose to come back to your breath. If your mind has wandered, can you come back to that intention? Can you think of a moment in life where you felt lost? Maybe that moment is now, maybe that moment is here. Can you trust your journey? Can you find the strength in yourself to release those thoughts or negative inhibitions? Can you be here in this moment with this breath? Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, start to walk the palms into that neutral tabletop. So from this neutral tabletop, just running through a few cat-cows just to reset the spine. Wrists are directly underneath the shoulder blades. Knees are hips width distance apart underneath the hips. I'm tucking those toes, dropping the belly low, sending the gaze high, bolstering your heart towards the stars. Exhale, ground down into the palms, round the spine, gazes to the navel. Can you shut the eyes down here? and take any free movement that feels good to your body. So there's no judgment on your mats. Maybe you come back into a child's pose. Maybe you start to move the wrists out. Maybe you rock back and forth. Maybe you move the neck from side to side. Letting your breath be your ultimate compass here. Letting your body be your guide. We're playing in this tabletop pose for two more breaths, whatever feels good to the body. And then coming back into that inverted V-shape or downward facing dog. In this inverted V-shape, palms are a little bit wider than hips with distance. First, bringing both feet together to touch at the back of your mat and then lifting the right heel high to the sky. Once again, option to point those toes or option to send those toes towards the earth. Inhale, right knee towards the nose, really protract in the shoulder blades here. Three-legged dog. Right knee to right elbow, make a connection, hold. Active listening, we're sliding that knee down towards the wrist. Up towards the armpits, protract in the shoulder blades for just a moment. Three-legged dog. Right knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in, plant the right foot in between the palms. Active listening, big move. We're launching all the way up, sending the left knee in towards the chest, maybe grabbing in front of the shin and holding here. Maybe you dorsiflex in the fin. Maybe you have a slight bend in this right knee, starting to roll the ankle in a clockwise motion. Maybe you switch the direction to counterclockwise. And then slow and controlled, we're starting to bring the left ankle on top of the right thigh. So we're gonna come into a figure four Utkatasana. So in this figure four, can you lift the palms high towards the sky? Send the shoulders to melt down the spine and then send the hips back for that figure four chair. In this figure four chair, making sure the knees do not surpass the toes. Slightly tucking the tailbone in, finding the natural curvature of your spine. Can you take one full inhale? And then exhale, maybe you sink a little bit deeper. You should feel it in your left hip. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, can you sink a little bit deeper? Planting the palms down towards the earth. If flying pigeon is in your practice, or excuse me, flying um, Utkatasana pigeon, then you're more than welcome to play. If you're with me, I'm simply releasing the left foot down towards the earth. 
bringing it on the outside of the right foot, grabbing opposite elbows, moving into my ragdoll pose. In this ragdoll pose, letting the head hang heavy, inviting the chest to kiss the thigh, allowing that decompression of your neck and spine. Take one full inhale here, halfway lift, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, plant the palms, choosing your vinyasa, tucking those elbows in toward the ribs. Maybe you skip your vinyasa today and just meet us in a downward facing dog. Coming into that inverted V shape here. Taking a moment to reset. First, bringing both feet together to touch at the back of the mat. And then inhale, lifting the left heel high to the sky, three-legged dog. Left knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in. Maybe you give that knee a kiss, shoulders over wrists. Three-legged dog. Left knee to left elbow, make a connection, hold, slide that knee down to the wrist, up towards the armpits just for a moment, and then meet back in that three-legged dog. Left knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in, plant the left foot in between the palms. Big move, yogis, grounding down into this left foot. We're rising all the way up, sending the right knee in towards the chest. Maybe you grab for the top of the right shin here. Maybe you take a slight bend in this left leg to create a little bit of a stronger foundation. Starting to create big circles with this left or right ankle. And then switching the direction to counterclockwise if it feels good. Inhale, slow and controlled. Right heel comes over top of the left thigh. We're in a figure four, about to move into that figure four Utkatasana. Reaching for something you desire, letting the shoulder blades melt away from the ears. And then bending deep into the glutes, sending the hips all the way back. Here in this Utkatasana chair pose, can you send this right knee closer towards the earth to find a deeper stretch? Finding the natural curvature of the spine, maybe the gaze is in between the palms. Wherever you are, we're here for two more breaths. Take one full inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, maybe you sink a little bit deeper. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, releasing the palms down towards the earth, finding that forward fold. Option to play with flying pigeon here, or if you'd like, we're bringing the right foot down to meet the left, and then grabbing opposite elbows, ragdoll pose. Letting out one lion's breath in this ragdoll pose. What lion's breath is, is we inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs, stick that tongue out, an audible breath, let something go. Ha! One more breath, yogis here. Fill the belly, fill the lungs, really feel the lungs expand. And then exhale, stick that tongue out, let that shit go. Ha! Starting to bring the palms down towards the earth. And then sending the glutes down towards the heels. We're coming all the way onto our glutes here. Woof, that was a sweaty one, guys, but we're here and we're pretty warm in the body. So I'm gonna walk us through compass pose. And so grab your strap if you'd like, or grab a t-shirt or tea towel, whatever that you have. We're gonna start um, with the left leg. So coming into an easy seat, Left foot comes in front of the right. We're first going to reach underneath and grab our left foot, sending the left foot to press into the crease of the right elbow. So keeping the chest nice and high, sending the crown of the head high as well. As if you're rocking a baby to sleep, shh. <laughs> Feel that hip kind of open and close here and just rock Finding a little bit of fluidity here. Today was my first day as a Filipino nanny for my best friend. She is thriving in quarantine and I'm so happy for her. But uh, today on my first day, I gave her son a mullet. So I don't know if I'm coming back on Wednesday, but I decided to give him a little haircut. So after you rock here for just one more moment, we're gonna place this left palm down towards the earth. And then we're gonna slowly release this left foot down towards the earth as well. Starting to see if we can send the left shoulder blade behind 
this left calf. And so maybe this is where you are today. Maybe you bring the palms out and press the earth away from you, kind of feeling that engagement. But we want to have a straight spine in this compass pose. So from here, you lift up if it feels good. If not, you can come back down. If you have some sort of strap or tea towel, place it around this foot. So from here, we're releasing the left palm to reach around us. And then slow and controlled, starting to extend this left leg. If this feels good, you can always stay. If you'd like to loosen the gap in between the strap, you're more than welcome. If you're open and you want to try it without a strap, you can place the left palm to reach around, planting it into the earth, and then lifting this left heel. With the right palm, you can grab the outside of the left foot and then start to extend this left leg for compass pose. So here, there are a few things that you can do to really finesse and make this pose feel and look good, but plant the palms into the earth. Maybe you start to point this left toe. Maybe you start to shine your chest towards the ceiling, gazes behind the right armpit. And then once you're here, maybe you start to send the left glute down towards the earth. Wherever you are in this compass pose, maybe you're still here with rocking the baby. We're going to come back out exactly as we came. So releasing this left foot down towards the earth, releasing the left shoulder from underneath the left thigh. And then coming into that Baddha Konasana, shaking it out. Both sides are different. So if you'd like to try, or if you tried it on the left side, my, my, um, my wish for you is to try it on the right because both sides are different and you never know. So here from this Baddha Konasana, coming into that easy seat, right foot comes in front of the left. Here coming in with that straight spine, letting the shoulders melt away from the ears, sending the crown of your head high. Grabbing for this right foot and then finding that little baby rocking pose. So sending the shoulders slightly underneath this right calf and then sending the right foot into the crease of this left elbow. Again, rocking this baby back and forth, this baby, which is yourself. <laughs> Feel that hip open up kind of like moving one of those old puzzles back and forth. You can feel it get a little bit easier each time you rock. So taking your time here, this pose is pretty intense. So I want to make sure that we have a strong foundation to come into it safely. So a little bit longer, maybe you keep those for a longer time. And then from here, we're releasing the right palm down towards the earth. And then I like to send my right foot down first. Just to give you guys a few steps, if you'd like, maybe the palms come out here. And you just play with feeling by straightening the spine, lifting in the chest, and then releasing. And maybe this is where you are today. And that's great. Keeping yourself occupied by planting the palms here, lifting through the chest, almost straightening the arms and feeling that spine extend. If you're ready to move a little bit further, bringing your strap on the outside of the right foot and then coming back up. So first here, we wanna send the right shoulder behind this right calf as much as possible. And from here, we ground this right palm down towards the earth. So maybe you use the strap here to grab with the left palm, planting the right palm down towards the earth, and then starting to slowly extend this right leg. If it feels good here, maybe you extend a little bit more, sending the gaze towards the top left corner. Maybe you give your strap a little bit more leeway, and maybe you get rid of it entirely. Maybe you grab for the outside of this right foot, grounding down into this right palm. 
extending the right leg high towards the sky. And then from here, we have a few options. So to kind of give this pose a little bit of finesse, maybe you start to point the right toes. Maybe you start to send the gaze past the left armpit and shine your chest towards the ceiling as if we were doing in that Parsokonasana or extended side angle, or as if we were doing in the beginning of class when we reach towards the side, finding that wrist in our sun eighth. If you're here, maybe you lift the chest a little bit higher. Maybe you start to send the right hip to press against the earth. Wherever you are in this compass pose, we're slowly taking our time coming out of it, bending into this right leg. I like to send the right foot down towards the earth, release this right palm, kind of shimmy way, way out of the spine, and then coming into that butterfly pose. Finding that Baddha Konasana, shaking it out. If compass isn't your jam, no worries, who cares? You're super open in the hips. This practice will benefit you, and it's not all about the poses. It's about connecting through your breath, connecting mind, body, breath, and soul. So yes, these asanas may look cool. Yes, they can be fun, but the real yoga starts here. The real yoga starts when we find that flexibility in our lives and really just honor our breath, honor our bodies, and listen to what's going on here. So shaking it off, we're going to come all the way back onto our mats bringing the knees together, sending the heels towards the glutes, grabbing the outside of the shins, and then running through a few cat-cows just to get groovy in our spine a little bit. Inhale, bolster your heart towards the sky, send the chest high, and then exhale, round the spine, hollow out the belly, gazes towards the navel. One more cat-cow, inhale, lift the chest and chin. Exhale, round the spine, hollow out that belly, gazes to the navel. Inhale, coming back to neutral, bringing the palms out in front of us, grabbing that imaginary beach ball. Taking our time here, challenging our core for that final time. Can you count all 33 vertebrae on the way down? Don't forget to breathe here, yogis. Don't forget to smile. Challenging yourself here to take your time. Challenging yourself here to Find the comfortability in the uncomfortability. Inviting those shakes into your practice, that means you're getting stronger. And then once you slowly release, we're sending our shoulder blades down onto the earth. And we're setting up for a modified bridge pose. So taking your time here, not rushing. And then moving into one bridge pose just to release that low back. Bringing the palms to slightly graze the tips of the heels, and then sending both toes to face the top of your mat. Grounding down into all four corners of both feet, maybe you plant the palms into the earth. Inhale, pushing your hips high to the sky, pushing all four corners of your feet into the mat. Here, maybe you bring the palms together, maybe you start to shimmy the shoulder blades underneath to lift the chest a little bit higher. Wherever you are in this bridge pose, can you hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Releasing the hips down towards the earth, bringing both knees into the chest, giving yourself a squeeze, and then letting or excuse me, sending the left foot down towards the earth. We're bringing the right knee cross body, sending up for that final supine twist. Palms come out to a T. A few options here, if you'd like to up level, you can always do an eagle bind with the feet. Or maybe you bring a bind, grabbing opposite elbows here, which allows you to press those shoulders into the earth for a little bit more of a deeper stretch while simultaneously sending the right knee towards the left side. Take one more breath here. Exhale, releasing both knees into the chest, giving yourself a squeeze. 
Right foot comes all the way down towards the earth. Left knee comes cross body, setting up for that supine twist on the opposite side. Bringing the palms out to a T, sending the shoulder blades into the earth. Option for that eagle bind if you'd like. Option to bind grabbing opposite elbows here, which allows you to press into those shoulder blades, sending the left knee a little bit closer, sending the chest towards the ceiling. And then exhale, bringing both knees in towards the chest, giving yourself that final squeeze. And then releasing into that Shavasana pose. Moving any blocks, any water bottles out of the way, any negative thoughts. This is what we worked for, this moment of bliss. Can we release here? Can we ground down, relaxing in the crown of your head, uncrinkling the space in between the brows, releasing the lips and the jaw, softening in the shoulders, in the triceps, in the fingers, and in the wrists. Softening in the chest, softening in the belly, releasing in the hips, the thigh, the knees, and the shins, relaxing in the toes. Starting to bring that awareness back to your body. Henry David Thoreau once said that it is not until we are lost do we truly start to understand ourselves. Can we embrace the unknown? Can we understand that even though we might feel lost at this time, our intuition, our heart is our ultimate compass. Starting to bring awareness back to the body, we wiggle our fingers. Bringing life back into the toes, we give those a little wiggle. Bringing both knees into the chest, giving yourself a squeeze, thanking yourself for showing up on your mats today for self-love and self-care. And then choosing either the right or the left side to fall onto a fetal position using a bicep as a pillow. I love what this pose represents. A fresh start a clean slate. Knowing that every single time we step off our mats and into the world is an opportunity for us to begin again. Planting both palms into the earth and then rising up to a seated position facing any which way you desire. Bringing the palms together, all this beautiful energy we created as a community. And then palms come down to heart center for gratitude. Remembering that gratitude helps us fall in love with the life that we already have. The perfectly imperfect student in me bows, honors, and respects the teachers and all of you. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your Monday night practice. Namaste. Thank you, Yogi, so much. If you have any questions about compass pose or need someone to talk to about the journey that you're on, feel free to reach out to me. Um, if you feel so inclined to make a donation, um, the link is in my bio. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube, I'm trying to um, keep things going. So go ahead and hit subscribe and uh, I'll hope to see you guys soon. I'll be posting all the live flows so you can go back and watch them. And then there are a few short videos there if uh, you need help with specific parts of the body. Other than that, I hope you have a kick-ass week. Thanks so much for joining me on this Monday Night Flow. Namaste, everyone.